So you, uh, you're a pretty uh, high-profile dad, and you know several of your kids have been high-profile athletes from pretty early ages. Um, how did you relate to their coaches when somebody else was coaching them? You know, I tried to stay out of the coach's way. <laughs> I mean, I sincerely did. My, my wife and I were, were you know, focused on that. Uh, I benefited, I think, from the fact that uh, certainly with Andrew playing high school football in Texas, he got good coaching. I mean, the, the coaches he had uh, you know, at a middle school level, at a high school level, were, were very talented guys, and, and they taught him well, taught him fundamentals. My daughter, who's a, you know, a volleyball player at Stanford, uh, you know, got good coaching as well and through her club and through her high school in, in Houston. So we, we had, I mean, the kids had, by and large, I think, you know, quality coaches. But I, I tried to stay out of the way of the coaches. You know, it's um, a, a, a young man or woman doesn't need two coaches. He doesn't need the head coach and then the parent. <laughs> because, you know, the parent is not in all those meetings. The parent doesn't really have a, a crystal clear objective you know, arm's length view of, of his or her son or daughter and the performance that they may have. So, you know, I've always I've always deferred to to a coach. I've tried to stay out of the way. I've tried to sort of, you know, keep my distance and, and allow the coach to make the the decisions uh, because they're they're the, they're the ones that are that are a doing this for a living and, and b they're they're spending more time with with uh, you know the kids at practice. And I don't think coaches really carry a grudge. Coaches want to win. They want to develop. You know, the best team possible. Uh, they don't necessarily play favorites. Yes, it may happen every now and then, but I think the vast majority of coaches are are very responsible and uh, really put the players out there uh, and, and try to put them in, in a position to you know succeed. So I've really tried to you know be, be supportive of the coaches. You know, let them know that I'm there if they you know need to call me or something or you know talk to me. But I, by and large, I I, I wanted to you know, take a, a pretty significant step back and not be you know in the middle of uh, coaching decisions or what plays to call all that sort of stuff